Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take with it, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And you can also get a personal reading with me. Links are in the description box with me or Brandy. All right, Virgo, so let's get into this reading and see what the messages are here. You've got abundance, addiction, and healthy choices. Wow, this is awesome, Virgo. So, yeah, it looks like, um, it looks like you're choosing to get away from some kind of a addiction of some sort i don't know what that could be usually you know leave it you know your story right um but i feel like there's i feel like in july there's all this abundance comes to you that kind of makes it easier for you to overcome some really difficult obstacles um it's almost like i, f I feel like you're being given a gift um that's gonna really help you with something um i'm feeling like grace comes to you okay so when i talk about grace what's that mean it's kind of like one of those situations where you look at a situation that you know that you have to deal with and and other people maybe have gone through the situation themselves and or maybe you've gone through this particular situation in the past but I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling this scent, like I see someone on a surfboard. I just see you breezing through a very difficult situation in July where it's almost as if you are lifted and you are carried through something, okay? That brings you to this uh, place to, where you'll be able to like make better decisions for yourself. Do you know what I mean? It And it almost kind of feels like, um, where I see people kind of turning around to you and just being like, how did you get through that? And, and it's almost as if you're, it's almost as if your energy is like, you know, I have no idea how I got through this. You're, you're being carried through something. That That's the overall message that I'm getting right now with these three cards that you, um, I don't know, your faith gets you through something or your, your, your beliefs or this po positive mindset get you through something that maybe was causing extreme restraint or had you blocked or someone maybe in some relationship with a codependency obsession or possessive behavior uh, virgo you you get lifted out of something here in july and this is really beautiful you know whatever the situation is uh, a work situation um a relationship of some sort where you come out on the other side and it's like you've got all this self-care you're happier yeah i mean this feels like a gift of some sort or a blessing of some sort that comes to you <coughs> okay let's so let's get into this reading because this that felt like a very spiritual uh, message okay so you've got the emperor here okay so there is somebody in your periphery or in your life that are at least showing up in june who's coming forward as someone who is very responsible um someone who shows up very much like a leader um they take care of everything they handle the business all right let me let me see who this person is to you virgo okay wow Okay, that's interesting. I see someone sneaking away from um, their commitments to help you out with something in July. They sneak away from their job. They sneak away from other commitments or maybe it's, you know, it doesn't feel like it could be a marriage or but it's something they're committed to and they they just fly out the back door to come and help you with something okay um it doesn't i'm not it doesn't mean that somebody's cheating or anything like that i mean if if you're in an extramarital affair this could be a message for you that the person you're in an affair with they they come and help you with something here um but i also and hey i'm not judging <laughs> 
I have no opinion. You have your own opinions. I'm just giving the message. But I do feel like there is definitely someone who sneaks away from responsibility of some sort that they have either to family or to a job um, or other things in their life um, to come and take care of something for you. Okay, so let me see what else is going on here. That's an interesting message. And this is show someone who's showing up as the emperor. Now this could be someone who's on the cusp of Aries and Taurus as well. So that would be like April 18th, 19th, 20, somewhere 21st. Um, but let me see what else is going on here, Virgo, because this is a really interesting, this might be the grace. Yeah. Um, and someone's come and help you with something. Okay. Hold on a second. You guys, I mean, I just got this huge image of someone just kind of holding the torch for you as you go through some dark cave what the heck i just saw that a torch and like somebody else is holding it lighting the way there is someone here now that can be symbolic for something or maybe you're actually like in a cave and you're you're doing some exploring i don't know but there is someone here who's going to be helping you out with a situation that you're going through in july that you may not feel yeah look there's strength that you may not feel like you could get through on your own but they bring this abundance. You know, they, they, they give you like a, a care package or they, they, they give you flashlights or they light the way. They, they help you out. They ha someone has your back in a situation. It doesn't have to be a bad situation. I mean, it could be something new that you're doing and you're trying to break away from something though. Okay. And this person comes in and it's almost they come in with strength. Like they come in and give the support and the strength to help you overcome something so you can make healthier choices okay or they're attached to some kind of healthy choices as well healthy eating healthy living mind, mind body soul as well okay so you know if you are trying to break through some addiction of some sort you got someone in here that like spirit is sending or your faith is carrying you through that's helping you with something here as well let me see because there's a lot of courage this person comes in and it's like they give you like they i don't know it's like a pep talk or they give you courage or they help you with something something that you're definitely struggling with in july now tell virgo is this like a romantic what is this hmm well somebody's definitely helping you from a heart break kind of scenario or situation that you've been in um you must be either going through a divorce or there's a breakup of some sort um and you can't try to make heads and tails of a situation can't really make heads and tails heads or tails of it yeah and i feel like this person is kind of coming in to bring peace like they're rushing to the rescue here they're bringing the good news <laughs> You know, or there's something that's ended here. Um, some kind of fantasy has ended. Some kind of place that you've been that, you know, was just all up in like maybe your head or it felt like it was in your head. I definitely like, I cannot even believe it. You got the two of pentacles down here. So, Virgo, you're just this person is like trying to help you weigh things out is what i feel like maybe you're going through some separation there's or something and you've just got like i don't even like i mean i could say knight in shining armor because you do have the the knight of swords but i don't I, like for some of you yeah but the emperor is not a knight you know this is someone who's they've been where you are this person, maybe it's a friend. I don't know. They've been where you are and you're going through some kind of shift and some kind of change. Now, does this person like, what is the deal? Is this like a romantic, someone who's got a thing for Virgo or is this just a friend? What is going on here? Now, like I said, it could be an Aries or a Taurus or just they're on the cusp. 
Who is this person, the Virgo? Oh, Tower. Okay. They were there when everything came crashing down. I'm just hearing. They were there when when things came crashing down. Yeah. This might be somebody you've confided in. They knew that I'm just hearing this person knew like they anticipated that something like this was going to happen. Virgo, I got to tell you, I'm really picking up vibes that this person has been waiting for whatever this situation is to like hit rock bottom so that they could come in. You know, and you might have been in a relationship with someone that was very unhealthy. This person's just been waiting for that other person to F up. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. They've been waiting. They haven't been trying to intrude, but I feel like they've been waiting for that person to screw up. They knew that person that you were with was going to screw up. Maybe they know about them somehow, but they knew that person was going to screw up. They've been secretly waiting for the fallout so that they could come in and get things right for you. Make things right for you. This is like, I don't even know. That's what I'm saying, like a knight in shining armor or armoress. I mean, I know knights back in the day couldn't be women, but I don't know. It's a knight in shining armor. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, this person, oh my gosh, very smart. Maybe they told you in the past, you know, or <coughs> you had conversations with this person. They told you in the past, that person's no good for you. They're going to do this. They're going to do that, you know, um, or they just have known about the situation. And yeah, they've just been like, not someone I feel like who wanted to try to break you up. But they're just, you know, waiting because they knew that the, whoever else you were with um, was not going to be able to see it through. They just knew it. And yeah, there's, there's somebody coming to the rescue here. Help you out through something. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, two. Oh, this person wants to marry you, Virgo. Like they see... They see a long-term thing here with you. Having a family, retiring together, what have you. You know, happily ever after. Working together, building our house in the middle of the street. Brick by brick by brick. Layer upon layer. Creating something. Building the adobe. There's just some kind of energy from this person coming in. Um, who's just kind of been sitting back. Yeah, well, they're, uh, I, I guess you must, either you're going through some kind of separation, or you're already in it. And I know this message isn't going to be for everyone. I just can't get to all of you. You can get a personal reading with me, though. The link's in the description box below. But this person, yeah, you could be friends with them. Maybe you know them from work, um, or they're connected to could be oh my gosh i just heard your your partner's friend or brother or sister whichever there's a connection absolutely they know you somehow either through acquaintances or or friendship yeah i feel like this person okay yeah there's a six of cups there you go um you might have known this person when you were way younger, like in your childhood, okay? And also, um, it could be, for some of you, this person, I'm seeing three children. They're just telling me right now. Two, like, maybe twins and a baby, or just three children in general, okay? Um, I don't know if that maybe that, that could be anything if that if that resonates for you you could uh, it could be you and uh, two siblings or them and two siblings or one of you has three kids or something like that okay this person has been wishing <laughs> they've they've been wishing absolutely wishing on a star for this to happen and I don't feel like this, per I don't feel, whoever they are, I don't feel like they've been wishing negative things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't feel like this person 
does any kind of trickery or anything. I don't feel like they've tried to manifest this or anything. They've just been praying and praying that you would either open your eyes or that you would come to your senses or you would get out of this dreamlike state and end something with this person or, or you know, do something because the person that you were with was noncommittal. And there was just a lot of heartbreak. They didn't, they don't want to see you and they didn't want to see you hurting, Virgo. So, I mean, if you don't know who this is, just hold out because July, we're not through July yet. So let this energy play out because it may just, they may show up out of the blue. But I'm just picking up some real strong vibes that this is someone here who um, has just been waiting until you got yourself free from another relationship. Now listen, you may not know them. For some of you, listen. You may not know them. They may know of you or know a situation, but they hadn't approached for some of you because they knew you were involved. Okay? So you may not even realize that. So just wait until July for the energy to play out so that you will know. Then you'll know that this reading's for you, right? You come back and leave it in the comments like, oh my God, because I know you guys do that. Um, and I read them and I'm just like, what? That's amazing. All right, let me see. I want to just get a couple of romance angels here. I know I saw one flip out. Oh, there we go. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this is a friend. Um, For some of you, it's a friend who's going to come in and help you with something in this in July, definitely. Whether it's a breakup or some kind of separation or loss of a job or a loss of a loved one. I mean, this person's coming in to give that support um, for sure. Um, but I also feel like love evolves. Love evolves from this as well. It's very beautiful. Okay. For some of you, it's a past life relationship. Um, you have known each other before. Huh, that's interesting. This is an interesting message, Virgo. Have you, listen, I, I haven't had a, a message like this, I don't think ever. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I mean, this is amazing. This feels like someone here that you have some kind of connection is coming in to just kind of catch you when you fall. That's what it, that's what it feels like. Very supportive energy. Um, you know, the emperor represents, the emperor is the king of kings, the queen of queens, right? But in general, the emperor is the king of king, kings. The emperor holds all of the elements, water, fire, earth, and air. Okay, um, extremely wise, um, very compassionate, brave, um, good communicator. All of this, all of these wonderful qualities. This is someone. Um, they just gave me a firefighter. They just said firefighter. So I don't know what that means. Oh gosh, I'm not predicting that something's catching on fire. Don't go there. Don't go there. It could be a career that they have or uh, some kind of job. Um, yeah, so I, you know, Virgo, it just feels like whatever this struggle is that you're going through or this something kind of thing that you're dealing with during this month, I feel like you've got like, I don't know if it's for you to ask for this person to help you out or ask for support. I mean, I feel like there's a love connection that goes from there it builds from there what okay i just saw twin flame but i put that back if it pops out again then it's gonna pop out again okay look support lean on your inner circle during this time that's twice now ask for and accept support support so this is i feel like this is someone in your inner circle somewhere okay retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge yeah, this, oh gosh, Virgo, it just feels to me like you're going through some major change or shift or you hit some kind of like 
other level. You know, when you thought like you've hit the bottom, maybe another bottom falls out. But somebody's here coming in that's coming to the rescue. I know it sounds like a hallmark (laughs) story, but someone's, you're not going to be alone in something that you're going through. There's a real connection that gets made here. And someone's really going to show you that they care and that how valuable and how important you are as you go through this struggle. And they're not going to let you fall. You know, whatever it is, if it's the end of a relationship or they've been waiting for you to get your shit together for a go. Or get off them drugs or whatever. Or they've been waiting for you to, you know, get yourself clean or just get your, you know, in a good place. Like you, you have a little bit of an awakening that happens here. And then you have all this support around you. And it's this time period where you retreat and you pull your energy back. And somebody comes in and spends that, those dark moments with you. And you're not like they bring a light like that torch. They, they hold a light. Even with the uh, even with the hermit there, look, you know this person holds a light up for you, so it's not so dark. It's beautiful, so you won't be all alone. And this person's alone. This person is alone. And there and there's a spark. There's something here that happens. You know, like I said earlier, some of you might have this extramarital affair thing going on. I mean. If that's your situation and you're like um, a third party to, to a relationship, it looks like, um, well, I don't know why that person's not leaving their, whoever they're with. It, it's the exception to the rule if someone actually leaves their marriage to go with like a third party. It really is. I mean, it's not that it doesn't happen, but it, it is the exception to the rule when it does happen but I will say that whoever this person is they care very very much for you I mean they really do and they really really truly want to be with you I don't know what their situation is at home if it's that scenario Um, but they can't leave it I can tell you that okay so unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So yeah, there's definitely some obstacles here in this situation um, that you're trying to, to overcome. I will tell you, you're not gonna you're not gonna have to do it alone. I'll tell you that if that brings any kind of consolation, you're not gonna have to go through something here alone. Okay. Now you might choose to say no, you don't want this person's support, and you're just going to retreat and get it from an, a different source. You know that's entirely up to you. But I am seeing someone who's coming in here to help you get back up on your feet. Yeah, there's your awakening. Wow, Virgo, that's what I was saying. You have like some kind of an awakening. You're going through a major shift and a change. Some of you are actually awakening to that extramarital affair and you're like i don't want this anymore you know and this person tries to come in and you know give you their love and they want to do all this stuff but they're not leaving their person so that might be an obstacle for some of you and it's like no you know let me you want to just pull away and get that support from the people who care about you that can be available for you okay no matter what it is like if some of you are like having a breakup, um, uh, this is a small little story. Some of you are having a breakup with someone from your past. They do try to come in and, and keep that from, I don't know, they kind of come in to give comfort, or try to keep that breakup from happening as well. Okay, that's a small message for some of you, but I feel like overall, Whatever you go through or whatever you find yourself in in a little bit of a dark moment or something in July, there's somebody here that's like, you're not going to have to sit in this dark room by yourself. I'm going to bring the snacks. I'm going to bring the juice. I've got the lights and I've got the chargers and I'm going to spend my time with you and I'll sleep over. I'll do whatever. You don't have to go through this alone. So it's really a beautiful, like major support of energy. And I like it, right? Who wouldn't? Let me see what your Moon Pie Tarot messages are. 
And just so you know, guys, um, today you are getting this reading um, July 4th during the day, okay? Um, but July 4th evening, 1030, I will not be here. So I will be back on Wednesday to do your, to follow up the readings, okay? Um, I was, well, I won't tell you where I was, but I'm, I'm back for long enough to get this reading out for you tonight and then um, back out the door, but then I will be back on Wednesday, okay? Just so you know. Um, okay, Cupid's Arrows, Love Messages and Travel coming to you. Yeah, there's someone here who's like crazy in love with you. They are in love with you. A lot of communication going to be happening. This person has just been waiting and waiting for things to just kind of... And for some of you, I will say, now they're just telling me this person is breaking up with another person that they are with, right? So I know I said that the marital, affair, the marital thing... No, I don't feel that. I don't feel like someone here is getting a divorce, okay? Um, but if there is a, a, in other words, legal, okay? Um, moving out of the house, yes. Um, being separated, yes. The actual legal papers and all, no. Not in July, okay? Maybe later, but for now, there is, if it's if it's that, if you're like a, um, a third party to a, a marriage, marriage, marriage relationship. Um, I do feel like this person is going to be moving away from who they're with. There's a separation of some sort. Okay, I will say that, um, or they're finally going to, you know, leave that person. But they're going to still have the, the the legalities. That's what I'm saying. Um, and then others, there is a separation um, between one person and another who is, you know, their boyfriend, girlfriend. They're not, they're not legally bound, okay? I do feel, and that person's going to come in and, and, you know, try to be with you. There's new beginnings. Wow, definitely. Open your heart to receive. You are divinely blessed, Virgo. New love beginnings. There's also a motherly figure who's going to be helping you out or guiding you, whether she's up above or here on earth there's definitely some guidance i mean virgo it just i don't know i i feel like whatever this struggle is and i hope please leave me comments let me know what the heck's going on because whatever this struggle is i mean you're totally not going through this alone at all and there's definitely um okay deeply loving male all right so that's cancer scorpio pisces showing up here as well okay so they could be Pisces Aries cusp um, or they're a water sign. Oh, wow. Boredom in the reverse. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Someone's super excited to be coming in to help you out with some, uh, some struggles that you're having here. Definitely. Now that could be this person or it could just um, person that they're leaving as well here and hmm. it's interesting because this is the hangman in the reverse look at it differently this is like seeing a situation from a different perspective but it's in the reverse and I feel strongly that's a message for you that you don't have to do anything Virgo you don't have to do anything right now okay you're going well in other words Virgo, you don't need advice going through whatever you're going through. You just need comfort and care, right? Because um, I feel like there's going to be this need to kind of rationalize your way through this situation, have some self-talk, try to make sense of things as you go through this, whatever this thing is, right? This little black cloud hanging over your head in a particular area, not necessarily your entire life, but in this a particular area. And uh, you know what, Virgo? Just accept the love, accept the comfort, the hugs, the care, the care packages. Um, you don't have to look at anything differently. You don't have to do anything, right? You're not obligated to do anything except just breathe <laughs> and rest and try to have a positive mindset. And that's all you need to do. 
try to keep your head above water. You don't need to like, oh, you got to sit back and try to see the silver lining. Yeah, that's save that for later, right? Just right now, as you go through July, get by the water, Virgo. Get by some water. You know, float in the water. Go underneath the water. Swim if you swim. If you don't swim, don't go in the water. Um, just get by that very fluid healing energy because water is very healing i feel like that's what you you know i don't care drink more water have yourself a little drink whatever you need to do you don't need to philosophize or reason or logic anything out about a situation you just need to breathe just breathe that's all you that's all you need to do let me see what the chinese sign of this person who is coming in for virgo Chinese sign for Virgo. Person coming in for Virgo. Okay. We have a dragon. Starting off with a dragon, Virgo. And the goat. And the dog. And the horse. Tiger. Rabbit. Ox. Tiger again. Dragon again. Rabbit again. And a pig. Okay, nice. Very nice, Virgo. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I just feel like, I mean, you've got an angel coming in just to come in to save the day, so to speak. You definitely have someone coming in here to help you out or to give you... To give you a little boom boom, Virgo. <laughs> give you some love and, and some kisses and some hugging. Just letting you know, Virgo. Oh, we also have a rat here. Where'd he come from? I right, was an extra. All right, let me just see. I'll get a couple of uh, names and randoms to see what else Virgo needs to know. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have a happily ever after situation here. Um, I see someone's house and they have a whole bunch of like cut wood or logs out in front of the house, like under the window or, you know, for cut wood you know for fireplaces stuff like that i just saw that huge like a big pile so, or somewhere near that in the yard there's a piles of cut wood chopped wood trees chopped trees wood okay strange message right there and i see like a, a white house with blue shutters and like a reddish light brown kind of roof all right, what else do you have, Virgo? Oh. A lot of candles lit. A lot of candles. Somebody's got the comfiest damn bed ever. Com like blanket, like thick, fluffy pillows and blankets and so soft. Such a very soft bed. Soft blankets, lots of them and lots of pillows. It's like heaven. Heaven in someone's bed. <laughs> the bedroom of heaven. I see a little bit of like, um, there's an African American, or an African male, I should say. I don't know if he's American. Or maybe, I don't know. But he's he's African, and he's, he's alone, and he's kind of sad. By himself. He's waiting. He's, he was waiting for her, I'm hearing. He's waiting for her to come home. And we're going to have, like, make love by the moon. She never came. Or she's gone. And he's super, super sad. Like, very depressed. He doesn't know where she is. He doesn't know where she went. He's very sad right now keeps looking out the window down at the driveway hoping she's gonna pull up any minute she hasn't shown up yet she's not answering her phone or she's just gone okay I see a, a, a young child giving blood or having their blood drawn giving blood or having their blood drawn There's a child getting like an arterial, um, 
blood drawn an arterial blood blood draw ouch that's a little painful okay let me see and also huh what an odd thing that is such an odd thing you know those little wishes that you can blow on and make a wish dandelions what well, you're gonna see one in the weirdest place <laughs> or you saw one already and it's in the weirdest place it, it's like growing in the center of the grocery store like out of the floor inside the building odd like that or it's laying on the floor of someone's car you know it's not blown um it's just an odd peculiar place to see it and you're you're being asked that when you see it to pick it up make a wish because that wish is going to come true if you see it in an odd place you know like what the heck's that doing there you know usually i mean they can grow up out of cracks or they grow in the grass all the time you know um you'll just know just trust yourself because you'll know that it's weird that it's odd that it's the, the placement of it is how i feel okay and also um okay they're saying justice will be done in regards to that water situation justice will be served and all will be fair in regards to some situation that has to do with an ocean or a pool or water or tub a place wherever there's water things will be fair and just um, yeah things will be fair and just I don't know exactly what that means but I feel like if anything if that's connected to you um it's a it's a win-win the, the truth is going to come out and it will be in your favor and karma will be served in regards to something i just see somebody surrounded in water and i don't know what the energy fully of that is but again leave me a comment if you like if you know what i'm talking about because i sure as hell don't <laughs> i just see that so maybe it's a legal thing or something that shows up here that just says like it's it's going to work out this thing is going to work out okay um all right let's try and get some numbers all right if gemini pisces sagittarius um okay september 4th september 6th September 11th, September 8th, September 17th, September 2nd. Okay, August 25th, August 28th, August 24th, and the 26th. Someone is 60 years of age. Someone is 55 years of age. Someone is also 58. Someone's 52. Someone is 46. Did I say that already? Can't remember. Maybe I did. Or 64. And the number 611, significant to someone. We also have the number 178. And 525. Also 5817. 5606. And 411. <laughs> What's the 411? Okay. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, yeah. It went over here. It landed on Leo. Okay. So, Scorpio, Leo again, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, one more. Okay. Numbers 10213 and one two eight seven six zero nine and they're giving me 1978 and 
They're also giving 71. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's get a couple of charms, and I'm going to send you on your way. Hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Mine's still going on. All right. So you've got you've got kissy lips, <laughs> red lips, okay, and the moon. So some of you are either going to get a kiss or you're going to give a kiss when the, the next half moon comes. Okay, I have no idea because I think last night was a full moon. So however long it takes from now to get to the next half moon. Um, I always feel like the crescent, no, wait, it's a crescent moon a half, no, it's a crescent moon. Is a crescent moon a half moon? Whenever it says a crescent moon, yeah, there's going to be giving a kiss or getting a kiss. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to know that. I don't know when it is. I don't have my calendar with me, so I can't tell you. I wish I knew, but you can look it up and you can just be like, oh, that's on July, whatever. And you'll be able to find out. <laughs> but yeah, there's getting a kiss or giving a kiss. Okay. Lots of kisses. Somebody sends someone a kiss. God, I wish I knew what it is. You know what? Should I look it up? Let me see. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to look it up. Because I need this date. When is the next crescent moon, July 2023? Okay. Oh, so the next waning crescent is Saturday, July 15th. All right, you guys. So it's, it's between the 15th and the 18th, July 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th. Someone's planting a kiss on you, or vice versa. You're planting a kiss on someone. Um, do you want to message? Oh, be quiet, you. I am the messenger. I don't message anybody. So you, um, yeah, it's sweet. It's it's very nice. So it could be this situation where you're going through whatever. Remember I said it's something going on in July here with all these changes. And then I feel like it's a first kiss. For some of you, it is. And for others, um I don't know it's it's it could be like a kissy text or something that is a little bit of a surprise it's romantic though i'll tell you that all right virgo i'm gonna leave that there um happy fourth of july to all of my american friends who celebrate and i hope you guys have a fantastic um day and i will be back here the day after the fourth which would be the fifth and um 10 30 p.m okay if i get a chance to upload the video for tuesday uh, well, for the fourth prior to that, I will, but um, we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys have a fantastic week, weekend, rest of your fourth, and I will see you all back here on Wednesday. All right, take care. My heart rages around like an ocean.